Hi, it's Kathleen from OldWorldFarmhouse.com and today I wanted to share with you 12 easily thrifted things that you can find to give your home a touch of English country style. What is English country style? Well, I'm thinking, think like Downton Abbey, think like Hogwarts Castle and the Harry Potter movies, or a Jane Austen movie like Sense and Sensibility from the 1994, I think it was. These sort of classic old English homes um, or like Hercule Poirot or Miss Marvel Mysteries where they're in these old houses with worn carpets and furniture that's been passed down for three generations and everybody walks around wearing tweed. English country style. So this is a style that is a lot of fun it's very eclectic it's very easy to find things and work them into your decor to get a little bit of that feel or a lot of that feel so let's get started number one blue and white porcelain so they had this huge far-flung empire and you can see the results of that in the kind of things in their homes the kind of things that evoke english country style blue and white china that would be something obviously from china or japan Number two, bright chintz fabric like you'd find in the textiles of India. The big floral prints, um, also Asian fabrics with Asian themes, obviously again for their time in China. And then the classic plaids like from Scotland. So lots of different fabric options and you can be on the lookout for all these kind of prints in the fabric section of Goodwill or your thrift store of choice. And you can use them to recover pillows or get some throws. Number three, furniture woods. So there's kind of two different ones here. There's rich, dark wood like mahogany, very classic English, think like from their colonial period where they're where there's lots of mahogany and they're using that to make these dark classic pieces of furniture or there's another way you could go with like a raw wood look like scrubbed pine like a scrubbed pine kitchen dresser that's also an extremely english look but you don't have to keep it to the kitchen i think you could put it throughout your house and when i'm out thrifting i see scrubbed pine quite a bit or something or even just pine that you could theoretically strip down and make to look very English. Okay, number four, richly patterned carpets from, you know, Persian carpets from their time in the Middle East. The British were all over the Middle East for a while. It's pretty easy to find these types of carpets. You can find kind of cheap, cheaper ones pretty easily, but also surprisingly often I find really good quality, richly patterned rugs at thrift shops or antique malls for pretty reasonable prices. So that's something to look for. Number five, overstuffed sofas and chairs with lots of throw pillows on them in different um, complementary, not mismatched, but like they all go together in a certain way, fabric. So think the Ikea furniture that they used to have all over, well, it probably wasn't Ikea, but in the 90s in Barnes and Noble, they had those big comfy chairs that you could just flop down in and read, covered in these floral prints. I have a chair like that that I bought at Ikea that has a slip cover on it that I think even Ikea said was inspired by English country houses. So you can look for that, those kind of Ikea overstuffed pieces or other overstuffed furniture you can look for. Uh, Facebook Marketplace often has a ton of them. You can go to Ikea itself for that or they now have a used furniture section in Ikea as well, I think. But comfortable furniture, soft furniture. And then if you get just any kind of pillows and you find some of these fabrics and these chintzes or things. If you have some super basic sewing skills, you could easily make covers for pillows and have a, a really cool look on your couch. Number six, pleated lampshades. Okay, this is something that is very English country. They're really trending right now. I, I see them everywhere 
and I've seen a lot of tutorials about how to make them as well because they're not cheap. They are very expensive. They're, they're, it's a very labor intensive thing, but they're so pretty in a room. And I think that if you could get some thrifted fabric and use one of these tutorials to make one, that would be an awesome English country style addition to your house. I'm currently working on making some for my house and hopefully I'll have a video about that soon. It's not ready yet because actually it is harder than it looks and it's taking me a bit of time to get it all together. Number seven, framed prints. So the gallery wall is super English country style. Think like you know the big tall wall in a country house and it's just floor to ceiling pictures. Well, you can do something like that in a smaller scale at your own house. For English country style, think look out at your yard sales or thrift shops, look out for botanical prints, look out for paintings of dogs, horses, and then put all that together in a sort of friendly, crowded, jumbly, mismatched gallery wall. Number eight, small, unusual objects that have been made with a lot of care and attention to detail. You can pick up, you can always find interesting little curios, little objects, and start collecting them and then just kind of scatter them throughout your house put them on mantelpieces or bookshelves and it just adds a lot of depth and texture and it's a fun thing to look out for at thrift stores because you never know what you're going to find that you might really love. Number nine, instead of a coffee table, use either an upholstered bench or a chest. I sometimes see upholstered uh, benches at thrift stores or, or ottomans. Um, I more of, I see tons and tons of chests and I think using a chest as a coffee table gives a fun like traveling feel and when I think of English country style I think of all of the travel they did in their colonial days and how a trunk kind of evokes all of that and they're really great as coffee tables and they double as storage as well. Number 10, silver. So silver tea sets, silver bowls, silver trays, silver candlesticks, silver silverware, tons of silver. Um, it looks great contrasted with that dark mahogany wood. It's pretty easy to find those classic Paul Revere silver bowls in thrift stores. I have found tons of silver trays over the years in thrift stores, which I love for when we're having parties. I like to put drinks on them and pass them around. I love that. I feel like Jeeves the butler. It's very fun. So keep your eye out for stuff like that. Number 11, walking sticks, umbrellas, and then an umbrella stand to keep your walking sticks and umbrellas in. So English country by the front door, the back door, but in your mudroom to have like a tall umbrella stand stuffed with walking sticks and umbrellas, and then maybe have a pair of tall rubber rain boots right next to it. So English country hunter boots seem to be the brand that's super British and everywhere. But I think any tall rubber boots would look really great with all of that. Um, I see walking sticks all the time at thrift stores. Uh, fancy, not fancy, mostly not fancy, but every once in a while I do see like the brass topped ones. So you could start a collection or maybe you just have some that your granddad had or something. I know my dad loved them and he has a couple that he's very attached to. Maybe I'll talk him into giving to me someday. And uh, off umbrellas, obviously you could go keep your eye out for like big classic umbrellas with like the, the Mary Poppins handle at thrift stores or antique shops when you're out. And then depending on where you live, it might be really handy to have some right by the front door, depending how much rain you get, it might be something really useful. And then finally, uh, number 12, books, magazines, cut flowers and vases and or house plants. Have these just strewn throughout your house, your living, your living room, whatever. 
um, a stack of coffee table books, cut flowers at the thrift store, but you can definitely be on the lookout for beautiful books to display, as well as cool little back issues of magazines. Who knows, you might find a trove of something really cool. So the style altogether, it's all about being cozy, and it's about being comfortable, and there, so that's why there's all the soft furnishings and blankets and pillows and magazines to look at. It's a really charming style and it's very forgiving because you, it's very eclectic and you can throw a lot of things together um, from different periods and different parts of the world and it can all come together to create a convincing English look. A few people to look out for on Instagram if you love this English country style. Ben Pentreath, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Is it Pentreath or Pentreath? I don't know. He is Duchess Kate Middleton's interior designer, and he himself has an amazing country home, absolutely gorgeous. He's written a few books as well. His taste is superb. His Instagram feed is beautiful. So get your hands on that or get your hands on some of his books about English decorating. Then there's Robert Keim. He's another... English, I think he's an antiques dealer, really, who does a lot of fabric, but his Instagram feed is gorgeous, tons of English country style inspiration. Then there's Rita Koenig, or is it, Ke I hope I'm saying it right, Rita Koenig. She is Nina Campbell's daughter. Nina Campbell is another British interior designer, Rita Koenig. Her style is so much fun. It's quirky and eclectic and just awesome. Her Instagram feed is, is great. She has a course on Create Academy where you can see a lot of pictures of a farm in England that she recently designed. Um, then there's Kath Kidston who is, she seems to be very famous in England. She's got a blue check by her name on Instagram and she's got this whole empire of, it, it's all very Brit florals and British, um, yeah, country house feel, very beautiful. And I think in the most recent house and garden, her house was featured and she's written a book about her house as well that I really wanna get my hands on. It looks like it's full of English country inspiration. So, and then also there's Alice Palmer and co. Alice Palmer is a British, I guess, does lampshade designer and she makes these gorgeous pleated shades and her Instagram feed is totally drool worthy pleated shades for days, just gorgeous. And then last but not least, the Bible of British Taste is an Instagram feed that just features photo after photo after photo of the British aesthetic, the British look. If you really wanna get a handle on this look in general, definitely check out the Bible of British Taste. You will love her Instagram feed. Okay, so I hope this gave you some ideas for how to bring some English country style into your house with thrifted decor. Let me know in the comments if there's other things that you can add for English country style that I left out. And please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And check out my other videos. I've got one about how to add French country style with thrifted item, as well as color palettes for English country style and French country style. This is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com where I'm all about helping you find ways to bring European country charm into your house on a thrift store budget. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.